Okay, I've just placed a 4.9 clean disc on this Jace 8000. And I'm going to commission this Jace 8000 to a 4.11. So default Trillium Niagara first. Passphrase. So you start type your normal passphrase that you would use in this, whatever you want it to be. Put in your username and your password. Confirm your password. And then any hints that you want there, I'm just going to put uh, Max King. Platform Administrator. Commissioning, so as you can see, it's 4.9.130 here at the top. Sixteen twenty two time, which is yeah. Which is fine, but I still uh, will take that. Next, install. Next, from a licensing sync server. Always click UWB, which also ticks UX as well. Box. I want to transfer a station. I've got a station already, which is the lower one electric meter and power bar copy every file so that's all the items that it's wanting to install so it's got a weather module on there I don't know why I put a weather module on there that's the stuff that's not installing. So it should be there should be Modbus there. Yeah, Modbus there. Kit control. Okay, I'm happy with that. Yes. Leaving the IP addresses as they are. So that's going to be 192.168.1.140 and the other one I always put in as a backup of 10.0.0.125 10.0.0.125 next leaving that user as it is and finish so this will probably take a while four minutes five minutes because it needs to be rebooted once it's installed so what I'll do is I'll put this on pause and I'll come back to you once it's all booted back up again Okay, so that's uh, installed. Close window. Let's see whether it's already booted up. Just 
check application director it's failed it's failed on the weather module see this here neo envis weather and that's weather it's failed on that so let's sort that issue out so I know I've got that on 4.11 on this station so I should be able to just go to uh, file transfer scroll down this left side which is my PC side find it and that's where it is gone past it I just saw it a moment ago as I was scrolling down that's it there click on that press the arrow to take it to the modules in the station Go back to OK. And then go to Application Director again. And let's start the station again. Now we put the module that it failed on across to the station. press F9 which is at my pause no point in you waiting for all this to boot up just showing you there that the out-of-date module has been added and it's building registry at the moment again it's still going to take about a good minute before it boots up so I'm going to press F9 again pause and I think it's nearly finished so we rebooted at 17.33 23 seconds and it's now 17.35 and 9 seconds. So it's got a severe problem there, no address, so to repeat. that's fine. I'm not going to take this out anyway once we start it up. Okay, so that's started. So let's connect into it via 4911. Okay, looks like we've got a handshake, TLS handshake issue, failed causes, failed certificate validation, failed hostname validation. So what we'll do is we'll just connect into it via 1911 for now. I'm going to go into services and get rid of that weather anyway. And I'll get rid of email service, report service, dashboard service, and weather service. Delete them. Missing module on local workbench machine. Okay. I don't think so, but uh, it says it is, but I don't know. I know the modules on that. Um, drivers, Let's see what we've got in here. So Modbus Com One. I've got a fault there. Right, let's just first of all, before we actually look at that, let's just because I took this from a Mac thirty six NL. It could be that it's not been set up yet. Yeah, com port there, none. So that one is COM1. Let's 
save that. That's the electric meter, which is even parity. This one's come to. Nineteen two hundred board, board even parity. That's the current bar. So that one now should be. If I check it again now, it shouldn't be failed. Fault. It's still saying fault. Let's just disable it. Enable it again. Save that. And then this will go healthy. Yeah. So that's my electric meter via Laura One Modbus. Still saying down for that. Just check this one. I'm not saying down. So I'm just looking at the controller, the, the wiring. See that plus and minus is the right way around. Plus is always the centre out of the three poles. So A minus, B plus, and screen cable, and they're the same on all them. So it shouldn't be an issue. So I'm just checking that the board rate and everything's right. That there's nothing wrong there. That is fine. So if it's not working, the plus and minus has got to be round the wrong way on the A and B. So what I'm going to do is just put you on pause and just swap them around on that one first. Okay, it was my error. I had them. I had COM one and COM two and COM two and COM one. So that was uh, my fault. I just swapped the plugs around, and uh, that sorted it. Let me just ping this one as well now. Okay, so the um, DDM18 is an electric meter. It's connected to a LoRa radio device at 433 megahertz. And it's going through a wooden cabin of 150 millimeter thick over through a long garden into a 1930s built house which has double brick walls cavity insulation and then through another double brick wall and the distance is about 40 50 meters could be more but i reckon about 40 50 meters 
that's picking up the total active power that is feeding the loft area which is a two bedroomed loft conversion and the other module the current bar in fact let me pause that and I'll show you the uh, website for that okay this is the uh, power bar EB a company in Iceland I think and I've got installed this six one here but I'm only using four of the current bars uh, because it's only four breakers but we've got a three one a six one and a 12 bar that you can actually purchase from them and it's Modbus so your wire goes through the center there and into the top of the MCB and it will monitor the current going through that MCB so you can um, do reporting energy monitoring it's and it's Modbus so it's uh, you can send that signal over lower one if you want to um, I haven't got it currently over low one I've got it direct to the station but you could send it over lower one of a distance of two kilometers three kilometers using the 433 megahertz Denmark I've just seen come up there made in Denmark or oh, Iceland and then made in Denmark so that is the uh, power bar EB that I'm using close that I want the points they're in hex I think not Modbus but still Modbus community yeah the hex addresses so the power is in milliamps and then you can just convert that to amps if I do a wire sheet on that you can see I'm just dividing that to get the total amps on the breakers it's also got a, a temperature sensor as well built into it currently 22.8 degrees 23.6 degrees but that's temperature that's actually on the current bar which is in a consumer unit so it's going to get a little bit warm in there anyway but uh, they're nice devices easy to install takes hardly any space up and you can monitor via Modbus and you can send it like I said one two three kilometers to the Jace controller as not I've done it in kilometers like I said about 50 meters but as this point for this electric meter is being communicated to me via Mod, uh, via lower one mod bus to give me the total active power and then of course you can put histories on these in fact I've uh, probably got a history yeah numeric change of value so it's change tolerance is zero so even if it changes 0.1 I will record the history of that see whether histories are set up on this I did it on the Mac 36 like I said I've took this software across from the Mac 36 and put it onto here yeah the histories are recording the history And if we look at 
current total active power of the electrical meter reading the loft which is nothing chart vista chart probably nothing with uh, being recorded yet let's look at uh, the table yeah so that's when it's been so it's, it's took one recording at the moment the others are just when it's been rebooted or not communicating because I had it in the wrong com port I don't know about the top lamps to chart history table okay so 535 started got a reading there of 546 it's now 553 so that hasn't changed I presume the time's right am I I've got 1753 here and that was 546 let's have a look at what the station time is 1753 So the amps has not changed since um, that time. And if I go and have a look at sockets, desk aircon, that should change a bit. No, not really. 543. Let's just put the aircon on. Okay, it's on my phone. So that's switched on now should expect a reading coming through let's have a look what's happening on the current bar Amps one point five one. So that's not doing much at the moment, but the uh, unit will take a while to start up. Okay, we can look at that in a bit. Right, the reason I put this onto 4.11 is I can use my Mac computer, type in the IP address, and actually edit all this via my Mac laptop. I don't need to use the Trillium EMEA workbench. I can use this, I can edit this logic via my laptop and that's one of the advantages of 4.11 in the Niagara world and I will do another video after this one connect to my laptop and show you what I, uh, my, my, I mean with regard to the Mac I think that's it for now um, that hasn't recorded 
a change I don't think now let's just see what I've set the history to that on so that's the sockets and the aircon which is this one here 16 amp MCB ah why don't I have any history on that that's because I put it on this one I think yes there's the history on that one there Zero point five zero, so we've got to have half an amp difference before it will actually register. I can just hear the outdoor unit starting up now, so I should have a register on that now. There you go. 2.53 amps at 5.57 and it's 5.58 a now. So yes, that works fine. And the time is fine. And we'll just go back to that. Views, wine sheet. And there you can see the jump there, 3.79 now. And now you can probably just hear the air con just started. 3.84. So let me show you the current bar uh, when it's in the consumer unit. I'm not going to show you a picture of the, my consumer unit, but I'll show you the uh, picture from their website. So this is one of their data sheets and you can see it fits on top of the MCB, the single pole MCB and you put the cables through and then of course you secure with the screw and that will then monitor once you put this device here on the front of it it connects to item 3 their device bus connector and it's item well, it's not item 5, that's a serial number, but item 4 is a status LED, so it's not that, but it's this bar here that you just plug into the device bus connector, and this has your wires for your RS485 Modbus RTU, so two wires, and it will give me all the information I need with the current that's being drawn by the MCBs so I could have this for example 50-60 meters away in a consumer unit put on there a lower radio device Modbus take the wires the Modbus wires from this into the lower radio device and when I can send it 60 meters easy but one kilometer two kilometers away to my controller and uh, monitor the electrical ampage going through those MCBs now everything's Modbus anything you buy being an inverter, um, solar energy inverter, uh, solar batteries, they're all Modbus and you can um, link a lower one radio to it and bring it back to the controller or bring it back to their controller. It's just like putting a piece of cable from one Modbus unit into the controller but this time it's going via wireless 
all right so I'll, I'll do another video with the showing you this on a um, Mac laptop and not running the uh, workbench thank you for watching